before we take an e in detailed look at room 318 let's take a look at the American Independence itself the ship has three decks and a sitting area on the top there's 100 passengers and 47 crew at night the ship is not that well lit up now let's head to cabin 318 for a detailed look at the room or cabin and having climbed two flights of stairs it's time to take an in-depth look so let's enter room 318 and see what it looks like and one enters with a simple push-pull key and when one removes the key the door will slowly open though most people do not have staff to open the door for you let's proceed inside cabin 318 283 square feet nice size king size bed double beds arranged as a king with a nightstand on either side of the bed a good size closet where you can hang pretty much everything and put your luggage a cluttered desk with a coffee maker the ship does not have any internet so if you bring a laptop you'll have to uh, either hotspot it from a cell phone or just use it without internet the defect of this room is the lack of plugs so bring your own extension cord if you're going to have a computer there's a uh, set of drawers and a TV set and the TV set features Fox News MSNBC as well as 14 other channels there are not a lot of hooks in the room there's one behind the door nice chair turning now to the bathroom a somewhat cozy bathroom with a stand-up shower the shower is excellent force is good and the temperature is good a single sink shampoos and conditioner but like on all American cruise line boats you need to bring a bar of soap with you the bathroom was remodeled earlier in the year and there's still holes from where the former towel racks were the toilet is classic vacuum the heating cooling system in the cabin is a very simple analog version and a nice veranda where you can see things going by all in all looking out from the balcony onto the Savannah River I rate this cabin 318 as very good and certainly suitable for a three-work journey to wherever this cruise ship is sailing.